Today I'm going to talk about Hubelino marble runs and 3D printing. My top 5 Hubelino compatible 3D printed parts from the internet. <laughs> I still owe you guys a video that I promised you in my big Hubelino marble run video, a video about the 3D printed parts. In that marble run there are a lot of parts, as you might have noticed, that do not exist from Hubelino. Hubelino doesn't make them. The reason that they do exist anyway is 3D printing and a website called Thingiverse that is run by a 3D printer maker called MakerBot and its users and community. On this website any user can upload 3D models that he or she made at home and share them for other users to download and print them at home. Most of these 3D models are shared under a Creative Commons license. That means you can use it but you can't earn money with it, you can't make money with it and you have to always mention the creator, the person who made it. So a big disclaimer here, none of those parts are designed by me. I didn't make those parts, those were the wonderful users on the Thingiverse website who were nice enough to share their designs with the community so everybody can download them. Thank you for that. I just got into the whole 3D printing thing with Hubelino and I really enjoyed that and I think that added a lot to this Marble Run system. So today I'm going to show you my personal top 5 3D printed parts from the internet for the Hubelino Marble Run. My number 5 Hubelino compatible Marble Run piece is this here, designed by a user called Jilu. Very nice piece, very simple switch. 4x4 four four studs. You throw the marble in and it creates a randomness. It goes either the left way or the right way. This was actually the very first 3D printed part I ever made. I just downloaded this file here from this user Gilo with the slicer software, put it on my SD card, fed some filament, that's the plastic spaghetti the 3D printer uses to make those things, fed some filament into the printer, hit print and out came this and I'm very happy with this. Very solid thing, has some minor problems due to imperfections and bad tuning of my 3D printer at that time, but other than that, really nice piece. Thank you Jilu for this. Number 4 is actually a whole range of pieces. Here they come. Those were all designed by a user called Dennis Beek and she or he made a full set of different Hubelino compatible parts. Hubelino doesn't make most of those parts and they work like a charm and they are easy to print, beautiful things. I printed them a lot. I had a lot of fun with them. Thank you Dennis Beek for making and sharing those wonderful tracks. Next up, number three. A user called Advanced VB created those wonderful flexible bridges. Thank you, Advanced VB. Very nice. You saw them in my video. I printed a whole bunch of them and I was very happy to have them. They work very well. They reduce height and they're flexible and you can also move them around a little bit. You can even do a 90 degree corner if you really want to try your luck. I broke a couple of them but that was all my fault. I treated them not very nicely but they are actually more solid than you would think and it's really a very nice and smart design. 
thank you advanced vb for designing this and if you check out advanced vb's hubelino project on thingiverse make sure you also check out the other things here i also actually printed one of those in the past and they're really nice as well number two is this piece here you saw that in my big marble run there it was red and looked like this and that's actually not the same part because this user zot has actually since updated the part when i first downloaded this this didn't have studs on top and because i wanted to make this stackable I decided I'm going to try my luck with a little online tool called Tinkercut and actually give this studs myself. And the way I did this is I just combined a model of a big brick with this thing that didn't have studs. I just aligned them on top of each other and saved it as a new model in a thing called Tinkercut, downloaded it and out came this and I was able to print it and it looked all right in my video. And actually, before I made this video today, I downloaded the new version and printed it and it came out very nicely. Beautiful model. Thank you very much, Todd, for first making that and now updating it. It's really my number two favorite Hubelino track on Thingiverse. And now the number one. The number one, you might have guessed it if you saw my video, is actually two pieces it's the steep ramp and the looping they belong together and they were created by a wonderful user called hd42 i hope that's nothing dirty hd42 wonderful thing hubelino really should have a looping and that is just perfect execution here printed nicely and I enjoyed this very much. If you own some Hubelino tracks and a 3D printer, make sure you print this. This is really a fantastic thing. Thank you HD42 for designing the steep ramp and the looping. Very, very nice. One honorable mention. I printed several of those parts and um, they come from a collection of Hubelino parts by a user called Mprint. Hubelino makes similar parts but they only have six studs at the top. They're this size. And usually I feel that you usually have like the width of two studs next to your track so this actually to me makes much more sense i've printed out several of them and used them in my big hubelino track they are super nice they work like a charm perfect compatibility so thank you mprint for designing this and if you think this is a good idea download it and use it thank you very much mprint for making this so these were my top five hubelino compatible marble run parts on the internet if you're interested in 3d printing or marble runs or both let me know what are your favorite Hubelino or other Marble Run parts on the internet. Leave me a comment, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And please remember, what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bytes. I still